My name is Henry Itanje. I'm from Yaoundé, Cameroon in West Africa. My mother is a contractor. My stepfather is a professor. I met Samuel at boarding school and we then attended university together. Everyone thought we were best friends. I knew this was the right person for my life. Uh, one day when Samuel and I were together, my flatmate walked in. She was horrified. She started screaming. And she called the police and then more people from the building started coming and they began to beat us. We managed to break away and ran, each one in a different direction. After days hiding in the bush, I finally came home. My mother said Samuel had been caught. He was detained. She gave me money, all the savings the family had, and I fled. I was chased by my neighbors. The people from my own community screamed they wanted to kill me. They kicked at me, they threw rocks at me, but I kept running. Eventually, I made it to Nigeria. Back in Cameroon, my family was harassed and detained. Upon their release, they received death threats and were forced to move. I lost contact. Then it was all over the news. Nigeria's government passed a new law. It prescribed prison sentences up to 14 years for homosexual activity. I was afraid I had to keep going. I spent all the money I had left procuring a fake Nigerian passport with a Mexican visa, and I fled to Mexico. There I was mugged, I resisted and was beaten. They took all my papers, all my money. I begged for food. I never begged before. Some tourists took pity on me. They purchased a bus ticket to Tijuana for me and told me to go to the United States. It took three days, but I made it. I approached an immigration officer. I told my stories. I had no papers. I was detained. I spent over a month in immigration detention centers. I began to question why I was alive, if any of it was worth it. Finally, I was given an interview with an asylum officer and was released on parole. I was finally able to contact my family. I found out Samuel had tried to run too. shot. He bled to death. Samuel. It's still hard to believe today. Samuel was just a good guy. He was such a good person. The case wasn't easy. After all I had gone through, I had to prove all that had become my life was not a lie. But I had help. Physicians for Human Rights listened to me. They stood by me. No need to keep running. I was granted asylum a month ago. To me, it has meant a chance at a new life, a life where I can truly be who I am. That is definitely worth living for.